This challenge went from this. Oh my god. You're getting it? Then went to this. Gabby's card is getting declined. She's on the phone with the bank. She has a problem. And I'm just seeing it right now during the challenge. The challenge <laughs> is screwed now. This is really bad. I'm at a food store, why? I'm so sick of swiping my damn card. Hey guys, I'm Nikki. And I'm Gabby. And we're giving you guys an extreme 24 hour challenge today. You guys who have watched my 24 hour challenges know that I'm the master at them. And we kind of wanted to put a twist on a 24 hour challenge and try to do a 24 hour challenge while shopping. A 24 hour shopping challenge and shop for 24 hours straight, no stopping. We love to shop, we could literally shop till we drop, like. <laughs> <laughs> So let's explain the rules because shopping for 24 hours sounds really complicated. So the max amount of time we could spend in one store is two hours. So we have to constantly be shopping and constantly be changing stores for 24 hours. Then we have to buy at least one thing in the store. So even if we don't like anything in the store, we have to find one thing at least to buy. And the last rule is no repeating the same store unless they're in two different locations. We could go to one Walmart here for two hours and then go to another Walmart. I feel like we're gonna have the most difficulty at night when stores close. A lot of stores close at like 10 or 11. So we are going to start the challenge at 10 a.m. exact. It is about 9.30 right now. So we're about to head to our local mall and we're gonna start the challenge now. Let's go. So we are on the way to our local mall. It's just me, Gabby, Aaron, and Nate, a videographer. I'm so tired, I have not had any coffee or breakfast. Gabby, can the first place we go actually be like a Starbucks or a Dunkin' Donuts? Is there even that in the mall? <gasps> can that be the first one? Yeah. Can we go to Barnes & Noble and like we'll like chill out and have breakfast and like okay. relax? We'll have a good morning. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's little, cute. Read a little book. Yeah, like Have an egg magazines. sandwich. You know. Yeah, you know. your hero? Audrey Hepburn. If you could turn into an animal for one day, what would you choose? A hamster. Would you rather open a teeny tiny gift box or a giant gift bag? Giant gift bag for sure. We spent about an hour here. It's 11.13 and now we're going to go into the actual mall now. So let's go. All together. This for like sleeping tonight, wherever I end up. This is really cute. Oh my god, Nate, I would wear this. You know when you shop in the mall for like too long and you start getting sweaty? I'm at that point. Look how red my feet are. Like, I just want to take off my Uggs, take off my jacket, take off my hat. They're holiday pajamas. <gasps> I got this shirt. I also got this t-shirt. It's a white camo and it says pink all over it. I thought it was really different. I got this shirt. I also got these leggings because I know throughout this challenge I'm gonna get sick of these plaid pants and I'm gonna wanna wear leggings. I got this oversized t-shirt nightgown dress. I got these PJ shorts that are plaid. I got a bunch of Christmas underwear. And I got a bunch of Christmas underwear. <laughs> I accidentally got two of this. <laughs> 
No, this is the top. This is the top. Oh my god. This is the top, and these are the matching shorts. Then I got a bunch of bottoms. And I got a pink shirt. Let's notice a pattern in every store. Gabby always gets more than me. It's always and I got sponge. So I only bought three items at Bath and Body Works. I bought this simplistic candle called Winter, and it's white. She's still taking out her candles. I bought this candle called <laughs> Snowfall, and it's really dope and like iridescent and reflective. It smells like Urban Outfitters. Like whoa! I got a bunch of like. Pink Wonderland candles. Look how cute. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> we did not do good. We should not have bought this much in the beginning. All right, and the last thing I bought is this spearmint eucalyptus, like calming hand sanitizer. I also got a flower sponge soap. This is gingerbread swirl soap, and then I got sparkling nights. And then I got winterberry wonder spray. That's it. The last store we went in was Victoria's Secret, and I bought this new scent that they have called Let's Stay In because that's my life. I bought this bra. I also got this Victoria's Secret tank top. I got this t-shirt that says Angel on it that's mint. I got matching silk shorts. I got rose gold pajama pants. I bought this Christmassy tank top that has a crown on the boob. Matching underwear. I hope I got the right size. And then I got these really pretty bow slippers. So we just dropped off our first round of bags. Now we're going to Chipotle because we're starving. And food stores count. We have to buy at least one thing in each store, so we're gonna buy the food. So technically, this does count. So we're gonna get some lunch. I don't even know, it's a weird time of the day. get this hat. Gabby, that's not even a store. She has a problem. And I'm just seeing it right now during the challenge. That's not a part of the challenge and she's still buying something. At a kiosk, not even a store. I like Nike because it's so close to my name. Notice how Gabby didn't step foot in here because if she stepped foot in here, she wouldn't want to buy anything. This isn't her style at all. You're getting them? Car haul break number two. So we first went into Aerie and I bought this really cute plaid hat. I went into Aerie and didn't like anything that I saw, so I had to buy one thing, so I bought this light up scrunchie. I went to the Disney store. Actually, no, I got perfume before I went to the Disney store. It's Viva La Juicy Rose, and I kind of activated. That wasn't even a store, that was a kiosk. Yeah. We got it on footage, we have it on camera. It activated my asthma, so I had to use my inhaler in the Disney store. She bought something outside of the challenge. Then I went into Lady Locker, which is like Foot Locker, but for girls, and I bought these Nike Air Force sneakers. And I'm in a much better mood now that I changed my shoes, because my feet were sweating and swollen and red. Always wear sneakers if you're gonna be on your feet all day. I'm gonna have another asthma attack. So then I went to the Disney store, and I got a few things from the Disney's Nutcracker in the Four Realms. Look at this bag. Well, I got this really cute mug. And then I got this notebook and pen. So update, we are done for now at the mall. We're gonna go to a shopping center near the mall that has like an Ulta, a Target. They even have a Panera Gabby if we wanna like grab like an iced latte. We're really tired, I think it's like, you know when you're on your feet all day and you're shopping and you just get like lightheaded and your eyes get heavy? We're all feeling that. I like, feel so like sick. Only like 5.45 p.m. We have a whole night ahead of us and a whole morning and let's go. This is 
is my chance to nap when I'm getting a blowout. Okay. Hopefully they have availability. We're gonna go into Ulta and try to see if we can get blowouts and take a mini nap. <laughs> All right guys, so um, we're using my phone for a light. Is <laughs> It is, boom, exactly eight o'clock. We just got blowouts at Ulta and we are now outside of Target. I don't really know what I'm gonna get in Target. I need a phone case. My phone doesn't have a case and I'm scared I'm gonna drop it. But we have a little bit of a some. A little bit of a dilemma. Yeah, we have a little bit of drama. So I'm budgeting myself at $1,000 today and I've already hit my limit. And every store I go in, I have to buy at least something. So from now on, Gabby's seriously on a budget. I can't believe you spent that much, Gabby. I do have like the money, but I'm, I want to budget myself because like I have other things and other priorities that I need to pay for this. You should have thought about that so. before you blew it all on candles. I like my money where I can see it in Pink Wonderland. All right, we're going inside Target. I'm so tired. You guys like our blowouts? You can see it in the lighting. Oh my god, I could get away with this if I just... Oh my god. <laughs> I'm actually sleeping, it's comfy. Where's my neighbor? That looks very uncomfortable. I think it's actually very comfortable. It's beautiful. It's cool and warm. Okay, so we just got Starbucks. We just took like a little like lay down break in our little lounge areas. Mine was a TP. Mine was two little kid couches. <laughs> and it is now. 9.43 p.m. We've been doing the challenge almost 12 hours. We start at 10 a.m. We've been doing it for a while. I actually slept for a little bit. How much did you sleep for? 10 minutes. <laughs> I slept for like 20 minutes. We are now going to go to Party City because that's open pretty late. Yeah. Target's closing, like nobody's here right now. I feel like we're getting a little delirious right now. Mm -hmm. I feel like the sleepy ha-has will come out. It, it's already starting. All together. Oh my god, all the Riverdale costumes they had. Wait, we have to actually buy something here. I'm sweaty. You're gonna have fun editing this. What are we even doing in here? This is like the worst part of the challenge. Like, what are we even buying in here? We're only in here because it's late. It's like one of the only stores open this late. I was gonna get a chocolate coin, but I think the pixie stick might do me better. Oh, wake me up. Still 12 cents. What's down this? Because Halloween's over, this was for sale and I got it for nine dollars. So those of you who watch Riverdale, represent. I'm ready for the night portion of this. I don't have pajamas, so I'm gonna go back. I'm so cold because I don't have a coat on. This just this looks so appetizing, like. Gabby's card is getting declined. I knew this would happen. They could think yeah. it's fraud because she spent so much in such a short amount of time. She's on the phone with the bank. This is not good. I knew in this challenge Gabby was gonna buy way more than me and I knew this could probably happen, but I was hoping it wouldn't happen because whenever this happens, I'm just like, what do I do? We found the problem. Oh my God. <laughs> Did you eat yourself sick? Bored. Okay, so this is the problem.
Well, I can't get my robe until like banks open. Challenge <laughs> is screwed now. Yeah. You're gonna have to pay for it, Shaw, to pay you back. See, I Venmo'd her. What time is it? 2.11. Well, there's a 24 hour food store where we live, so we're gonna go to the 24 hour food store. Oh my God, the last actual meal I had was Chipotle. No, no, I'm not even kidding. Can we just take a five? Like, I need to just lay down. I have no interest in shopping right now, like, at all. Like, I'm at a food store, I why? Really, I was in the mood to go to Wegmans. It sounded all nice until we got here. There's no other places, like, open other than, like, food places. Now. Should have just slept in Walmart. Time to go. <laughs> no, I can't do it. Here. Great, now I have to buy something here too. I thought I was hungry, but I'm more tired. This isn't gonna work. It's too light in here. I'm on We should have made the rule that you can't stay in a place more than two hours because if, if you didn't make that rule, we could easily fall asleep on a bench over there. No, but no, but Gabby, like there's no realistic way we could fall asleep. You can't sleep in Target, you can't sleep here. You can't like this isn't I don't know how people really do 24 hour challenges. Nikki. What are we gonna buy? This challenge was fun in the morning when we were in stores we actually liked. At nighttime, a lot of stores aren't open, and the only stores that are open are boring. This is like really bad. Can we just agree to just sleep with my car and wake up really early and finish shopping? It's cheating. It never says you can't be in your car for a certain it amount of time. It says you can't be in a store for more, oh. See? You can't be in a store more than two hours, but it never says you can't be in your car for more than two hours. Then the, some people who do this challenge will just spend like five hours in their car. It should be if you go through a drive-through then you could sleep in your car for two hours because that way you're still buying something but you're like still in your car. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's go through a drive through So we got here around 2.30. It is now 3.45 a.m. So if we leave here, get in the car, go through a drive through and sleep for two hours, we should be done with all that by 6 a.m. So we'll have to wake up at 6 a.m. I think we should do that. This is a great way to get someone out of a shopping addiction. I'm so sick of swiping my damn card. I can't even buy a pack of gum. Meanwhile, I'm walking around with a weed ton. Okay. What is wrong there? All right, this is kind of like the finish line for two hours so we can actually sleep, so here we go. If you guys don't want anything, I'll get a chocolate chip muffin. I don't want anything, so I'll get you a chocolate chip muffin with my card. And Gabby doesn't have a card, so I guess that's what we're getting. Cool. You have to order. You gotta order. Oh. Jeez. Um, I'm so tired. We did it! Let's sleep in Duncan parking lot. Enjoy your muffin because I'm Nikki. All right, Nate, turn the camera off. We're the two hours start like now. It is 4 a.m. We're gonna be up at 6 a.m. Bye, Nate. Bye, camera. I'm so tired. <laughs> yeah. Right. Nick. What time is it? Gabby, wake up. It's 8 a.m.
Gabby, it's 8 a.m. I don't care, we need to see. Aaron's here, oh my God. We overslept. Yeah, we did. <laughs> so what do we do? It's 8 a.m. and we have two hours left. <sighs> Gabby, we, we already overslept. Guys, this challenge is really hard. Like, we're really, really, really trying. All right. Whoa. I need food. Is there a McDonald's on the street? So early, I can't tell you the last time I saw the sun come up. I love how we went to bed and there was like nobody out and now it's like crowded with rush hour. when I can eat my next meal. You didn't even ask, I would've bought you breakfast. 8.45 a.m., really? It's 9.15 and we just went to McDonald's and we have about like 40 minutes left, like 40, 50 minutes left of the challenge. And honestly, nothing's like open. We need to find somewhere to go and we need to buy one last thing. Gabby's just like mute and asleep or something. Yay. I'm so can you give me a makeup wipe? Yeah. I bought myself a pillow. A Christmas pillow at Michael's. Hallelujah. My car's never been so nasty before. A pixie stick, eyelashes, a Red Bull. I feel like this is like a mini shower. At the start of this challenge, I remember saying, oh, I'm gonna love this, this is gonna be easy. Having to buy something in stores and changing every two hours, oh my God, yay. And now I'm like, no, the worst feeling is being in a store when you're not in the mood to shop. That's like the worst feeling, especially if there's nothing in there that interests you, but you have to buy something. Ugh. I'm not shopping for a long time. Sorry that like this isn't so like upbeat, but it's genuinely because we're exhausted and we're so tired. We went too hard in the beginning and that's why we burnt out. But you went ham though in the beginning. Like you like went ham in like Victoria's Secret and Bath and Body Works. Yeah. All right, sorry we don't look the best. Sorry we, we're not acting upbeat. Sorry, we're not sorry because we're tired. Honestly, guys, we challenge you to try this challenge. No, anyone who has an addiction to anything, I think you should do a, sh a crap ton of whatever you're addicted to, if, unless it's drugs, and face it it's so that you are sick of it. Because I think this is truly like a great way to get over a shopping addiction, so I don't know. All right. Well, if you guys love shopping and you guys like 24-hour challenges, we challenge you guys to try this. Can you guys beat it better than we did? Can you guys not oversleep? Like, seriously, if any of you guys want to try it, we seriously want to watch it, so you guys should try it. We'll, we'll see, see you in our next video. Bye. Bye.